Alrighty, what is up YouTube? We're back on Unturned for episode 3 here in Seattle. And we're doing exactly what I said I was going to do. We're chopping down some wood. We're going to make a couple more crates and whatnot. And uh, we're going to adventure outside of this city this time. And it is no longer nighttime. I have K'd for a minute to get some coffee. And then also uh, chop some wood. Now it's daytime again. Which is almost daytime. We can see the moon still out. But this game feels really cool when it's raining in the early morning. I mean, this this is kind of a neat little just feeling. It, it feels like one of those days where you got to stay inside and, and drink coffee. I don't know. I really like the rainy vibe here going. But we're going to get right into it, man. Just chop three trees down. Got a ton of wood here. Actually, we could probably chop a fourth or fifth even. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going to come up here and craft a few more things. I also never reset the world. So maybe I should do that here. We'll go ahead and craft our crates, and then we'll reset the world. Uh, our planks were still up here from last time, so I think that is a good idea. Resetting the world in between each playthrough, just just in, because I think that's how I should have done it to begin with. And, and uh, just in case there's any issues with the game itself, I think it's just best to do that. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and craft a couple more of these. There's one. We don't have enough planks, now we do. Craft. Uh-oh, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. So we made, whoopsies, made two more of these. And I'm going to be honest, I, one's definitely got to go here in food. Good enough for me. Put it right there. And we'll put another one back here with the medical stuff. I know this one's not quite full yet, but it won't hurt to have some extra medical supplies. Let's go ahead and craft a little bit more. Craft. And I crafted three more of them. So we'll put another one, another gun one right there, we'll put another ammo one right here, and uh, I don't know, should I should I put like a random, random tool one here in the middle? We'll do a random tool one here, and we even have enough for two more. Here we go. Now these two I'm going to do for something a little bit different. So my plan is... We're going to find a vehicle, and we're going to put two of these crates on the vehicle, and then that way, when we go exploring, we can have a little bit of extra storage even. So that is going to be the plan. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and dump all of this extra stuff, the sticks, uh, and the, the planks if there are any. There are two. And uh, before I even do that, I'm going to offload, and I'm going to reset the world. So I will be right back. Alrighty, we are back on a reset world. All of our stuff just spawned and everything around us is probably respawned. Like I said in episode two, I really don't want to make a habit of recording uh, in the same, you know, two episodes in the same day back to back because I think it's important to have feedback and, and ideas and stuff in between episodes. But in this case, uh, I'm going to have to because of my upcoming schedule, but I, I will try not to make a habit out of this. So uh, we will do our best, but we have offloaded. And uh, I think it's time to start adventuring. Now, I, I want to start getting duct tape and, and rope and stuff. Just because I, they are, like, glued to. They are important when it comes to crafting in the future. But I, I think we're going to hold off just for now. Just for now. And food-wise, I'm going to try to be careful uh, with picking up uh, food items that are that are two, two item slots. Like chips and eggs and stuff. Unless I can eat them right away. Because they're just such a pain. They really take up a whole lot of space. Like chips, I'll just... I you know, and here I am breaking my rule immediately because I just ate a carrot. But, you know, those chips will be the one thing we grab and they'll be the first to go because, I mean, they're just taking up so much extra space. It's it's kind of unnecessary. But, all right, since we're right here, wow, there's a lot of zombies outside of our crib. Let's go ahead and fight. <coughs> fight to defend our crib. And uh, actually looking at our health and inventory, uh, we're we're hurting a little bit. I forgot we took some fall damage last episode and uh, it's still here. I'm going to pick up wire. Anything metal is actually going to be pretty valuable. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Uh, as I say that, and there's metal scraps. We're not going to pick up the metal scraps. So we will start picking up scraps at some point. Actually, they're going to be very valuable. But for right now, we will not. Let's go jump this if I can. Awesome. Let's check in here. What do we got? A pickaxe? Huh. Let me go ahead and check out here as well. Cloth. No. Nothing in here for now. I think we're going to stay away from... Oh, that big guy's back. Yeah, let's stay away from in there. 
Let's stay away from in there. No, sir, do I want to go in there. Absolutely not. Not right now, at least. <laughs> He's back. He was not here in episode two, if you were, if you have not seen episode two yet. And we were able to raid it in there. We got a... Not a whole lot, honestly. A grenade and a couple of funky things, but... Nothing that I think really is a game changer. Uh, I will try to take a peek and see what's in there. And maybe we could find a way to grab it without him seeing us. I don't know. I, I doubt it, to be honest. But we'll give it a shot. We're just going to raid this town a little bit. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and pack up shop. Find a car. That's kind of half the goal here is to find a car. Get it back to our, our house there. And then load it up. And then we're going to leave town. And this is going to be... a. Uh, a rating episode. Now, I don't know what that is. That looks like a smoke. A smoke grenade. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Definitely a smoke grenade. Uh, we do not want to do that. Actually, speaking of that, while I'm thinking about this, let's go ahead and upgrade ourselves. Uh, how many levels we got? 183. Starting off, um, we're going to, yeah, let's do a couple of those. We'll do three of those. Let's finish up the tree tree cutting one uh, that's gonna be huge that tree cutting one so we'll do that and then let's go all the way over to here punch and melee with greater force let's do the stamina one get our stamina going uh, jump higher with less uh, wow oh wow I am already at a level so I don't know if I want to make it a, a tradition at the beginning of episodes to, to upgrade myself or what but uh, we definitely cannot forget about that, because that's going to be really helpful if we can upgrade ourselves over time. Go ahead and grab a little bit of food for our adventure. Later, eggs. I said how I wasn't going to pick up eggs and stuff, and now I'm, I'm picking up eggs and chips and stuff. Like I, I said I wasn't, but that's okay. We'll just eat them. We'll eat them right away. Might as well. Is this fuel as well? It is. Wow, okay. So there's even more fuel. And, just because I want to see, does it respawn? It doesn't. Fuel does not respawn. Unless there's like a time. Could it be like a time thing? Like once an in-game week or something? Or in-game day? I don't know. I actually do not know. That's a solid question for you guys. I could look it up. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to look it up. So. Wow. Okay. So. We'll have to be really conservative when using fuel. Good news is we haven't used it yet. And. Uh, well, there's another fuel reserve in the back. So if it, if it regens at all, that'll be huge. If it doesn't. Bummer. Bummer, but we're going to keep on pushing. I say we check out the gun shop, and uh, we'll call it. We'll uh, call that for our, our current city raid. And uh, actually, we'll push over to the fire station. Does it still have a fire truck? It does. We'll go ahead and steal that fire truck, and we'll use the fire truck for our adventure. It's a good vehicle. It can do us a lot of good. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's see. Let's get the ammo. Ammunition. Whoa! Whoa! I, I got a peek of those just out of the corner of my eye there. Those military uh, containers, those are really awesome. That'll get our military magazines refilled. And honestly, those are my favorite guns. I just feel like they do a lot of damage, and they're they're reasonable and not crazy expensive. So I like them, I like them. I heard a zombie kind of groan. Is that uh, because he heard me, or what's going on here? I don't see one, so I'm going to have to assume no. Since I'm already here, let's check the hardware shop. I, I hate that about this game. I am so bad at being like, all right, here's what I'm going to do. And then I, I get distracted about four times. Police station's here as well. I mean, might as well, dude. There could be guns in there. And uh, there could be another handsaw in here. So let's go ahead and check both of those. And then we'll steal the fire truck. So we, we did get a little bit more ammunition from the police station. So that's always good. Can't complain about that. Let's go ahead and steal the fire truck now. We're going to go ahead and drive this back to our base. And we're going to load it up. Holy cow. That was a bump right there. That was a bump. Luckily, we don't have a far drive back home. Uh, we are going to have to be careful. If any zombies hear me, they're going to try to blow it up. So, uh, How do I get out? There it is. E. That's how I get out. Okay. I, I got. It's good. I got to test it because if I get in a sticky situation, I got to be able to get out of that pretty fast. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys. As much as I want to take a vehicle... I don't think I'm going to. I think I, I don't know if I'm ready to right now. I know that's a really dumb thing. I could always be ready to. I just I don't want to push it. I really don't want to push it. And I don't know where the big oh he's right there. He's right there. So can I see? Uh, 
Oh, did it? Did everything respawn? Um, I was gonna use these to see if I can, like, see items that I'm like, holy shit, I need that, but, oh, I can. So there's just no items. I can see those nails right there, and I don't see any other items. I see him, his cute little ass. Cute big ass. Whatever he prefers. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I, I don't I don't think I'm going to go ahead and take that vehicle. I don't think I'm ready for it right now. There's also a bus over there. I want to put crates on top of it. I'm just, I'm worried. I'm, I'm worried about, like, not having the proper tools and stuff yet, and that I'm going to destroy it and all the stuff I attached to it. So I think we're going to hold off. Uh, but that's okay. We'll still have a great adventure on foot here. I'll go with absolutely almost nothing, so we will have a full adventure. That is a promise. But, uh, all right, let's go ahead and put our ammunition away. I know right now this kind of seems dumb. Like, why why will I need this much ammo? But I feel like once we start getting into things, it, it'll, it'll pick up. Uh, especially because I'm almost positive there's a thing called a Blood Moon, uh, which is very similar to the same mod I have in my Minecraft Earth map. And if I'm not careful, that thing will absolutely kick my ass. So, um, <laughs> I think it's best if we play it safe and smart and we go ahead and load up. Honestly, I really should start barricading myself in here because I'm almost I'm almost thinking with the Blood Moon they can sense me from really far away. So, I almost might need to barricade myself. Hopefully, there's just none for a little while and it's not even a factor. One last inventory check. We got the handsaw. I'm going to be honest. Let's put the handsaw away. I don't want to die here and lose a handsaw. So, we'll no more handsaw and that'll open up two more slots for us. And uh, I think uh, let's go adventuring, and we're going to go big or go home, and that is the wrong button. And we are going to go up to the Olympia military base nearby here. I think that'll be fun, going to a military base. I don't remember if there's a really big mean guy that spawns there or not, so we'll have to be careful. I don't think there is, but... And I'm going to do something I completely forgot to do, and that's go and get some medical supplies. So let's go ahead and grab a couple couple band-aids or something from the health shop just down the road and we'll get on our way. I want to know what this does. Oh! Oh, that was awesome! That helped me out big time. Alright, we're going to keep one of those as well. So I'll have two medical items. I got food and uh... Well, I got an axe and I got a flashlight. So I'm going to hope this is good enough and now we'll finally begin our adventure here. Let's uh, Let's hope we have a good one. And let me get my bearings and we'll set off. I really need a vehicle. I, I, we'll have to do that when we come back. Let's do one adventure without a vehicle. And then uh, we'll come back. We'll figure out the vehicle situation and uh, try to load it up. Ideally, it's a smaller car or truck at first here. I don't think I want to do a fire truck right now. I think putting like 10 crates on a fire truck is something that I only want to do when I have a, a safe place to keep the fire truck when I'm not adventuring because... We saw what happened to the golf cart in episode one. If a zombie decides, hey, I don't like this, it, it's gone. It's as good as gone. I, there's nothing I can do about it. He is just going to absolutely decimate it. And I don't want that to happen, especially when I have eight to ten crates attached to it that may or may not still have stuff on it. I could be in the process of unloading it. So I don't want to do that. Let's just get like a nice pickup truck with, I don't know, two crates, two, two crates or something. And then we'll call it good with that. And uh, hopefully that's all we all we need. But all right, we're getting here to the military base. Getting here to the military base. We're gonna sneak around. We got a couple of a couple of guys here, huh? What is that? Oh, a knife. A nice knife on the ground. Okay, taking him out with my axe. Oh, it didn't want to swing. Explosives right out the gate. Okay, I'll take that. Black smoke. I'm gonna pick up the smokes because I think they're funny. <laughs> oh man. I hope there's not a big guy here. That's the one thing I'm a little worried about. I do not remember if there is. I do not remember. We're just going to take them all out. There's a lot of fuel here too. Oh, wait a minute. I bet that vest is huge. What's my current vest? All right, it's a 5x3. Equip. Nothing dropped. It is a 5x4. That... Wow, added a whole nother row. Huge win, huge win. All right, let's continue our adventure here. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, 
I want to say most of this military clothing does a lot of good. Let's let's test it. An Avenger. What the fuck? There's two of them. That's sick. All right. Let's let's back out real quick. Let's back out. Let's go ahead and test the the pants as well. So I got a police bottom and it's a five by three. Equip. Put it on. I wasn't holding anything anyway, and it's only a four by three. So no, actually the police bottoms are better. Police bottoms are better. Now I don't think this game gives you a bonus for having all matching clothing. It could. It very well could. I don't know if that's like a, a thing or not. I don't know why that's coming to mind. Maybe it is a thing. I feel like I'd only think about that if it was actually a thing, but I don't remember that, so. I'm gonna say no until proven wrong. Chat, if I'm wrong, let me know and we'll come back here and we'll get all matching outfits and, and clothes and whatnot. And uh, we'll, we'll test it. We'll test it at some point. But for right now, I don't really care enough to want to test it out. We're just gonna raid this bad boy. And actually, I think I should go back to the very first hoop house, whatever you want to call them. Because I think I... Oh, no, that is it. I was going to say, I think I missed ammunition I saw up top. I thought there was another one behind me. There was not. But, uh, all right, moving right along here. Yeah. Let's just take him out. Take his ass out. Oh, saber tooth. Those, those are always cool. Military knives. Knives. What is that? A sandbag. Oh, that's right. I like sandbags. I like to make like a sandbag uh, machine gun nest. So they're just cool. They're, they're so useless. They do really nothing, but it's just fun. Definitely fun. What is that? An earpiece? What the fuck is an earpiece? That's new. I've never heard of that before. Got a lot of explosives. We're still doing good on inventory space. Hell yeah, man. So let's go up top here. Go up top. Check out this little military fortress or tower here. Oh! Ooh. I was being a little bit too noisy there. No, I can't believe I didn't get attacked, dude. Holy cow. What is that? Another earpiece? We'll take two. I feel like I feel like we need two to communicate with people, right? Well Okay. So we have it all here. Should we test it? Alright, first one's gonna be a, a five by three. Let's see if this is any better. Oh, six by three. It actually is better. Okay, so please spot him still five by three. So let's see. It's only a four by three. Do I need the hat? And is there a backpack? I don't know. Nonetheless, that one's out. I'm going to go ahead and re-equip this just because I know it has better storage for now. And we'll drop that for now. We can always find another piece for sure. I don't know. I don't think it gives you a bonus. That, that'd be a really cool feature to add if you're wearing all of the same outfit. It gives you a uh, like an extra storage row somewhere. I don't know where they would do it, but an extra tick somewhere or something. That'd be kind of cool. Not nothing too OP, you know, nothing too crazy, of course. But, I mean, a little something-something. Kind of motivates you to wear matching clothes, you know. Otherwise, you know, there's no reason for it once you get the most OP item. It's like, eh, who cares? We are also on easy difficulty, so, you know, I don't want to say too much, because I'm sure on hard difficulty it's a lot different. Uh, and we, we will. We, I'm planning to do hard difficulty, probably on Moscow. Moscow. I'm thinking we'll do the other basic map. I forgot the name of it, to be honest. It's the other map. It was like the very first map. Oh, what is it called? I can't remember, but we'll do that one. And then we'll do Moscow. I like Moscow. I've never really cared for the other ones. I think they've added a couple others. Like, I think there's a Hawaii one. I'm pretty sure there's a water and a snow one. And I, I just don't really care for them, to be honest. But that is okay. Whoa. That bridge looks kind of cool. But all right, man, here we go. Raiding the last, not the last tower, second to last tower. Go and beat this guy's ass real quick. There it is. Money, baby. And I already have a GPS. Ah, uh, We'll pick it up, just in case. But if I need extra room, that's the first thing we're going to dump. So, that is our plan here. Alright, we're almost done with this raid already. Wow. That was quick. Let's go ahead and kick this guy's ass. Get over here. Think you're better than me? Think you're better than me? Holy crap, this, this one is fucking loaded. We already have an Avenger. I don't think... I don't think those do much. 
Yeah, no, I don't think they do much at all, Desert Beret. We'll wear it anyway. I think it's cool. Oh, is that what it, it is? A tactical laser. That's fucking cool, dude. I don't know. I'm not going to read stuff. I don't care. We're not here for the story. We're not here for the lore. A knife. I am here for explosives, though. Hell yeah. Yeah, I like me some good old explosives. Yes, sir. But wow, okay. This has been a very successful raid so far. We only have this building and a tower left. So it is almost done. Let's pick up a metal bar. I think uh, we have enough inventory space to kind of mess around. Not with the knife, though. I don't want a knife. What is that? Cloth? I don't care. Nope. Nope. This is like the, the construction building, I guess. Had more material than anything. All right. Last building here. Last tower in the raid of the military base. We'll go up a little slower. And there's no one up here, dude. Hell yeah, I don't know if that's a really good or really bad thing. A couple more smoke grenades. We'll keep the smoke grenades. I think they're funny. Oh! Wow, that should have killed me. I'm an idiot. I am a idiot, dude. Terrible decision. But all right, that's it for the military base uh, raid this time. Um, Wow, I got four Avengers, dude. Yeah, I got four Avengers, dude. That has to be a badass pistol if it's that fucking... Common. Or maybe it's just a bad pistol because it's that common. I mean, it was all over the military base, so who knows? But all right, yeah, let's uh, we'll return home. We'll check a couple buildings in the city, and uh, we'll offload. And I don't know, we'll come up with the new plan. I, I feel like uh, we're not done adventuring yet for the day. So yeah, actually, let's go down here. Yeah, we've never been down here. Let's go check it out. Okay, there's a couple zombies. Definitely a military blockade. So. That's cool. Hopefully we get some cool military gear. Maybe not the stuff we already have. I'll take a smoke. <clears throat> Sounds like I'm talking about cigarettes. Yeah, I'll take a smoke. <clears throat> Ooh, yes sir. We'll take that ammunition in a heartbeat. Let's go kick this guy's ass. <clears throat> get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, which way is up? This way is up. Let's go check it out. What's in here? Hopefully no zombies. Cool. Another smoke. And I don't care about anything else, so... We gotta be careful. I am known to die of fall damage in this game. Like, I feel like that's my number one killer. We've already kind of experienced that in MRE. Yo, that's sick. That is actually sick. I think that's like one of the best food items in the game is MREs. Like I said about fall damage. Okay, let's let's do better. We're better than this. We are better than this. Alright, there's that. Another Avenger. Holy crap. Alright, as much as I don't want to. We're going to go ahead and get rid of these. Strip. Get rid of. Strip. Get rid of. And uh, we will keep the top two. And it's it's purely because, you know, I, I, I want to scrap them. I want to scrap them to get the scrap metal so that I could start building. We're just not quite there yet. And I, I feel like once I get a vehicle and I could put, you know, guns on the vehicle itself, then I it's a good idea. Then I should do it. But right now it's just taking up inventory space. That frankly, I just don't have because, I mean, I'm passing all other kinds of items from fireman suits to the axes, tools. Every tool pretty much drops metal. Uh, the military vesting gear, I'm pretty sure drop metal, scrap metal if you craft them down. And so I, I just think it's smart to load up almost a fire truck and put a bunch of shit that I could use for scrap metal on the fire truck, bring it back to the city, and have a whole fire truck, so, you know, eight to ten crates worth of scrap metal. I think that's the smarter play because. Right now, it's just going to take up unnecessary space and un really prevent me from being able to do other stuff. So, we don't want that right now. We're going to go back to the farm. There's one more tool that's not a necessity, but boy, would it be cool to have. And that is a chainsaw. And I, I want to say they spawn only in farms. Probably construction sites as well. But, I mean, they've been... We haven't had a whole lot of luck trying to find that type of stuff. So, I'm going to have to go with the farm option. Uh, honestly, we'll probably just have to do it all. And just hope we get lucky like we did with the handsaw. But I mean, the, the handsaw, we we probably spent at least an hour. You know, I, I me at least. I know the video is not going to show an hour, but probably a good hour looking for a handsaw. And that's a, that's a lot of time. That is a lot of time. Honestly, that tractor would be kind of cool to drive around. That tractor would be cool, but we're not going to worry about that yet. What's in here? What's in here? Potato seeds. Potato seeds, huh? Are these fuel? No, they're actually just nothing. Okay, I wasn't sure if they had a purpose or not. 
Wow. Hawkhound. That's kind of badass. That's kind of badass. I'm going to pick this up, too. If we get enough fertilizer, we can actually craft uh, little fertilizer bins, or what are they called? Uh, I can't remember what they're called. I would love to have a crossbow as well, but right now is just not a good time for it. We're kind of kind of getting full here, inventory-wise, so we're going to leave all the arrows and stuff alone. They're not crazy expensive either, so if we ever decide to go get bow and arrow or crossbow and something, it, it won't be expensive at all for us. Let's go and kick this guy's ass. Kick his ass. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Where's the chainsaw, dude? Someone give me a fucking chainsaw. Give me that tomato, too. Oh, there's two in here, huh? Oh. Ow! He kind of juked me, man. What the hell? Ooh. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. A planter, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I wanted to craft, dude. And there's a crossbow. I'm pissed. Yeah, we can't, we can't hold it. <laughs> We're just getting mocked at this point. I'm talking about, yeah, you know, it'd be cool to own a crossbow, and then it gives me a crossbow and a fuck ton of arrows. And a nose, I don't have the inventory space, so that's a bummer. But all right, man. Uh, really good first adventure. We'll we'll stop back in town, see what we can find. And, uh, I don't know, we'll figure out somewhere else to go. I have a couple of ideas, so I'll see you guys back in town. See, is there a handsaw in here? Wow, that was a cool jump, dude. I didn't expect for me to make that, to be honest. No more handsaws. Looking for a backup handsaw. Just in case I die with one, I would not be upset to have an extra handsaw or two. Or five. Oh, wow. I've never seen a guy spawn in here before. That's a first. Could that be a good sign of something good to come? No, that's okay. Let's take these, uh... Duct tape. Ah, not yet. Uh, let's take the cans. I believe I can use those cans to make uh, the rain barrels I was talking about, or even fuel drums and stuff, so... Oh, three cans, dude? It's just telling me to. It's just telling me to go home and craft that. We will next episode. We'll start crafting more stuff. Next episode will be a crafting and, and fortressing episode where we do all that type of stuff. But yeah, this one, we're just going to sit back and... Uh, damn it. Let's try to sneak by him. That's okay. We'll get the experience. Always love some good experience. But yeah, this episode, we'll just, uh, just explore. We're just gonna explore. No reason to do anything crazy. And I am out of space! No, dude! Oh, you hate to see it, don't you? Hate to see it. And that's, that's A-OK, -okay, man. We got a ton of stuff here. There's a ton of ammo in here now. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. Alright, let's go and offload. We are really close to home. All that stuff's probably gonna regenerate, so it may not be the same, but, I mean... Nonetheless, there should be stuff here. Oh, wow, there's two more, dude. Oh, okay, we gotta hurry. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about. See, a guy just fucking spawns next to the fire truck. He has a bad day for some reason. And there goes my fire truck, so... Oh, there's a dude in my house. Oh, there we go. I'm trying my best, dude. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh boy. Let's kill this guy too. So now, what that means is they can also spawn in here and they can destroy my stuff in here. So I think I think we gotta start crafting some stuff. We might start a little bit early. We might put a pause on the next adventure. I, I could probably still do one before the end of the episode, but I do think a uh, temporary, temporary break is a good idea, especially after what we just went through right there. So... And we are full. Yeah, so we're going to have to go ahead and craft a little bit. Uh, first things first, let me go grab those other jerry cans, because that's a fucking score. So we'll go do that. And uh, we'll do a little bit more uh, localized raiding, I guess we'll call it. Just stuff that's nearby. And then, uh, then yeah, we'll have to figure it out. Thank God they're still here, man. I would have been so sad if they just spawned. Like, I would have been really sad, to be honest. Because that's, uh, that's a huge win. Huge score, but alright, I don't see anything else here of value. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Might as well. Actually, let's go ahead and fill these up. And let's see if this is... Oh, it did! It did! It regenerated a little bit. So I don't know, is it once per day? I don't know if it's once per day or, or what's going on here, but... Hell yeah, so... Good news. It does regenerate. Uh, let's go ahead and get the food in here, since we're right here. Okay. 
Go ahead and scare me, zombie. I, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid, you big dummy. You big dummy. Ah! <laughs> Just start screaming. I'm not afraid at all, man. I don't know what you're talking about. And, uh, oh, how's our inventory looking? Not too bad. I have an idea. Now, I don't know why this is coming to me all of a sudden, randomly, but I do want to do one last adventure for you guys. Um, but I, I think we need to craft. I think crafting is a little bit more important. So we're going to do a closer adventure. Instead of going really far away, we're going to do something that is close by. We're going to go ahead and empty out a little bit of stuff real quick. I'll go ahead and eat, get rid of what I can. And then we'll do another one last small adventure real fast for you guys. And then we're going to we're gonna start crafting. We're going to do the majority of it next episode, I'm sure. But we'll get a good uh, taste test. See how it's going to go. See what I can do and maybe get some ideas. Uh, the big thing is I'm going to need a lot more crates. So I'll have to plan for that. I saw a juice box in there and I, I just want the juice box. Oh, it was a potato. Never mind. I thought it was a juice box. Is there a juice box in here? Someone save me. Oh, there is. Yeah, this is what obviously I saw that. When I said I saw a juice box, it was that. You know, I just... I went in there and grabbed the potato to psych you guys out, of course. You guys know me, I'm a little, I'm a jokester. <laughs> cool, so now we can start planting stuff, because that's a totally straight planter right there. And uh, after this last adventure, we gotta, we gotta get some more crates, because we're running low on, running low on everything. But, this should be a neat little raid adventure, whatever you want to call it. It's somewhere we haven't been yet. And you know what? We'll do a couple places we haven't been yet. I haven't been into this little... This Does it say fast food restaurant? Is that what that is? We haven't been over here yet either, so let's check that out. I, I don't expect much more than food. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing here, bud? He's trying to, trying to juke me out. See, more juice. I'm just really good at finding the juice. But, uh... I haven't been in here yet. No. Okay, yeah. Is there anyone else in here? I don't see anyone else. So that's good. That's good. But yeah, let's get all of the food we can. Holy cow, dude. This place serves all kinds of food. Holy cow, dude. There's a ton of ovens. Chef's hat. That'd be kind of funny to rock. They have six ovens and one refrigerator, dude. What is this establishment? What is this? There's a guy up here, huh? Well, there was. Maybe we'll do that at the end. <laughs> Maybe we will. I don't know. Oh, shit. How did he hit me? Uh-oh. Yo, oh, what the fuck? Did he hit me through the floor? Oh, he's still coming. He's he's angry. At least he didn't bring any friends. Tin can? Yes, yeah, sir, we'll take that. Wow, okay, I, that scared the shit out of me. And then I, I fucking fell. And I, I once again, I almost always die to fall damage. So that wasn't very smart. We're going to go ahead and raid the hospital because of that. What just happened? Well... I do not know. Alright, we, we're we raiding the mall. We have yet to ever raid the mall. I don't know if there's going to be zombies in here. A whole lot of them or, or what, but we'll be careful. I want to say there is... Okay, we'll keep this open. I want to say there is like important things in here. Like, I, there, I thought there was a shop or two. Obviously no shops are labeled, but I thought there was a room or two that spawned in with like a, quite a bit of material different sorts and so far I'm, I'm seeing not a whole lot maybe he was on the second floor I don't see any zombies in here so that's good okay this store is empty not seeing anything in here yet maybe this was a bust man if this is a bust I almost have to do another adventure that's just the rule I, I thought Stuff spawned up here. I really did. Thought there was a weapon shop or, or a good construction shop or medicine shop. I thought there was something, but... Well, that's all eight shops and there was obviously nothing. Unless it was just a really, really bad... Bad time to come. It was just bad ge generation or something. That could be, but... Well, now, I feel bad for you guys. Because I said we'd have uh, one last adventure and that was not an adventure we'll have to run one more but i think uh, a good plan of action is to go home and craft some stuff let's go ahead and get an empty inventory and uh we'll figure it out from there i almost had a panic attack i looked over at my obs and it, it said zero minutes zero seconds recorded uh, i was looking at the wrong timestamp. uh that that would have scared the shit out of me i'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> that 
That would have been bad. But alright, actually, we have enough inventory space. Let's just go ahead and chop down some fucking wood, boys. Let's chop down some fucking wood. What are you looking at, punk? We're chopping down some wood yet. This is the most exciting content I've ever had. Give me stick. Give me stick, give me wood. Give me stick, give me wood. I want to know, can I craft planters to get rid of some of my planters right now? I don't know where they would be. This is all food stuff, it looks like. I don't, yeah, I don't know where they'd be, darn it. Oh my gosh, there's like landmines and shit. What the hell, dude? That's a massive gas can. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of stuff in here. That's all house stuff. Planter! Well, let's craft another one. Better put that right there like that. We'll put this one right here. And then we're going to get all of our seeds. Whoops. I double click some stuff way too fast. And then we're going to plant all of our seeds like this. We'll put this one like right here. And we'll put this one like right here. I'll just do three per container for now. We're not hurting for food that bad. Actually, I don't even need these seeds and stuff. I have way too much food as is. That's okay. Alrighty, I believe I have it all sorted out. I'm going to go ahead and mine more trees. We're going to go ahead and build some more crates and whatnot up here. As well as maybe putting some down uh, a floor or two. Maybe we could start getting our scrap metal uh, procedure or whatever you want to call it. Our scrap metal room storage, all that stuff getting that going because I want to get a lot of scrap metal we're going to make a lot of metal barricades and whatnot and so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that I want it to be enough to where I can walk by yeah okay so that should be good I want it to be enough to where I can walk by and if I ever have a gun and like zombies break in it's going to be like in the movies you know where I got a machine gun here I'm going to be like bop, 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 bop. exactly that noise too don't even ask questions about the noise because that is it so that is perfect that's as perfect as it gets actually so with that said, let's fucking knock down some more trees, boys. That tree only gave me a stick and a log. What is this, dude? I, I still don't know if trees kill you or not. I genuinely do not know. And I, I don't really want to test it, to be honest, but... We might have to at some point. I don't want to because then I lose levels. Damn it. Can someone in the chat tell me if they know? <laughs> I guess I could look it up on a wiki, dude. But I'm so nervous. But alright, this is the last tree and we'll go back. We'll craft some more stuff. That one has a lot. And it's all rolling away from me. Aw, oh, man. You hate to see it. We're going to put all the rest down here. This is going to be our, our scrap metal room, if you would. We're going to start putting a bunch of scrap metal in random scrap metal items down in here uh, except for one why how many how many do I have left let me make sure I got one oh but I have more logs left never mind so yeah we're gonna go ahead and put them all put them all down this will be the scrap metal stuff so we'll start putting uh, just scrap metal and, and maybe even tools we can break down into these and then I'm gonna craft a couple more and we're gonna put like smokes and random shit in them cuz uh, I like them I think they're fun I like to mess around with them I know in terms of the let's play, there's really no reason for them, but uh, I do, I do like to mess around with them. So we'll do that, and then uh, I think we can craft four more if we're smart. Exactly four more. Holy crap! Like I don't have a single stick or what? I couldn't do that again if I planned for it, dude. That is awesome. That was actually really cool. That was really really cool. But all right, we're gonna put two more down here. Uh, for scrap metal because we're actually going to need a lot and once we get cooking we're going to be cooking with scrap metal and we'll put like two over here for just random smokes and and random items i find that uh, don't really belong anywhere else uh but i don't want to get rid of because i like to I'll, I'll throw a smoke now actually i think they're just funny i think they're really funny i don't know why i think it's funny when you throw like 10 of them actually <laughs> the more you throw the better but they are just goofy And then the zombies hate him too. Oh, shit. I hope the big guy doesn't sense that. I didn't even think about that. I don't know if he's down there or not. Well, I don't I don't see him coming out, so I'm going to have to guess no. But 
I'll have to be more careful next time. I wanted to prove a point, and maybe it wasn't the best point to make, but that's okay. But here's what we do now. You go into here, and it only gives you one. And I gotta be careful. I don't wanna start getting into it with that there. But yeah, you can craft stuff down, and you can turn it into scrap metal. And you can see I didn't get a whole lot of scrap metal. Those items weren't very big, though. But if you go to a military base like we were talking about earlier and whatnot, you can get a whole lot of scrap metal. And uh, once you just get a ton of scrap metal, you can start crafting pretty fast. We'll do it to these bad boys as well. And uh, is there another guy in here? There is. Yeah, let's go and do it to them. Craft. See, I got to be careful. And then from those three guns, see, I got a lot more. So you, you can really start stockpiling scrap metal. And if you want to make metal barricades and, and other metal contraptions, barbed wire, all that good stuff, like I do, uh, then it's not too difficult if you play it smart. But I, I'm, I'm kind of doing this Let's Play to not only, you know, I guess explore and, and kill zombies but i almost want to kind of build and like almost have a crafting goal and i i do think that the final goal should be i, I hoard or i fight off a bunch of hordes of zombies and defend my home base from like a ma major battle major attack and then if i win i win and if i lose you know i lose the world almost in, in, in a way so I, I don't know that's kind of what i'm going for here so i'm, I'm really trying to plan uh, in order to uh have this whole place defended barbed wire the whole nine yards I really want everything so but that said I that smoke's still going that's that's pretty crazy that smoke is still going down there that is going on a lot longer than I thought it would be to be honest with you but and if I can remember how to do this shoot how do I do it I think it's Y no R E no T T it's T okay we figured it out you can actually add attachments onto your gun and I could add the muzzle I'm not going to right now there's a grip and then a sight. If I can get a sight, that would be pretty cool. Let's go and check the gun shop one last time. If I can find a sight right now, now that I'm talking about it, that would be awesome. I don't think I'm going to. Maybe if I say I want a sight or a scope loud enough, maybe the game will hear me and be like, man, this guy wants a sight or a scope. And there's just going to be another gas can here, for real? You guys are just going to give me free gas cans like that? I mean, I'm not going to say no. I saw that out of the corner of my eye. I was like, steel. Absolute steel. <sighs> Bummer. A lot of a lot of magazines here. You know, which are good. I like magazines, but oh my gosh. There's a lot of magazines here. A lot of magazines, but I don't think we're going to get lucky enough to have a scope, and we're not. But you know where scopes spawn? They spawn in military compound. That's how we got that uh, laser from the military base. I wonder if we raid this military installation the little outpost here one last time for the episode i wonder if we won't get lucky enough and find one we'll see i'm gonna kill a bunch of zombies too let's get some extra levels so that next time we're in the game we can go ahead and uh upgrade a few more things so it should every time we play it should get a little bit easier a little bit better we will see okay that was a that was a piss poor effort on my behalf there Let's make sure there's no bad guys. Honestly, raiding this place during the day is a lot more fun. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't having fun at night, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was not having fun. I still don't see the big guy. So I'm going to take that as a good thing. I'm going to be careful, though, because he could literally be anywhere, knowing his big, goofy hulk of a man. Uh -oh. It would help me if I didn't miss, huh? Nope, nothing there. All right, let's make sure we go up the right side. Almost done with this raid. I just hope no one spawns up here, to be honest. Whew, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna die from fall damage, and I'm gonna be so upset. So upset. Wait a minute. Tactical laser! No! We got another tactical laser. You can't be mad at that. Tactical lasers are cool. So that means we could put another one on another gun next time we're on. Imagine the big guy's in there. <laughs> Open it up. He's, he just comes over here and beats my tight little ass, dude. Jesus Christ. All right, but... All right, I'm starting to get a little goofy. So, I, you know, after two hours of playing this game now, like I said, I did record episode two and three back-to-back -back here. So after two hours of this, you know, I think, I, uh, I think I'm starting to get a little uh, unturned out. Unturned, unturned on, unturned off. Get a little goofy here. So I think that's a good place to end it. Um, 
Not as much adventuring as I thought we would do, but to be fair, to be fair, Letter Kenny, I love Letter Kenny. That's actually the only pop figures I get. The little pop figure, whatever you want to call them. Only ones I get are from Letter Kenny, and I have them all, so a little side note there. But not the greatest adventure. To be fair, we ran out of storage, and we were just having a couple other issues. And then zombies are getting really close to our house. So episode four, which I will not record right now. I still may record it before two and three are out, but I'll let you guys know. Definitely leave comments if you have any suggestions or anything. Nonetheless, that episode, we're going to start working on the home front here. We're going to start building barricades and defenses. I don't know what the strategy should be. I, I think... I know this is going to sound crazy. I almost think it's smarter to get up like little spikes around the per perimeter and then uh, barbed wire and then get like the metal barricades and metal doors because I mean they could just chew out a metal door. They can't chew out barbed wire, at least not nearly as fast. So maybe that'll be the plan. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you have any other suggestions and what to do. And uh, if you have any tips, tricks, or really anything, man. If there's something you saw me do that you're like, whoa, 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 why, why did you do it like that? That was, that was dumb. You know, there's an easier way to do it. Let me know. I'd really, really love to know um, just tips and tricks. Uh, you know, I, this is a game where there's not a whole lot of spoilers. I don't really think there's a story to it, so you can really tell me whatever you want uh, and ideas and whatnot, too. And You know, I don't know how many episodes this series is going to go for, at least on this map. I mean, we've already made some pretty good progress. I think... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't see it hitting 10, I'll be honest. But uh, I, I do think that the goal should be we either pimp out our house or another area and we have to defend it against the Horde. The Horde Beacon. I think it's pronounced Horde Beacon. I think that's what it's called. Can I even look that up? Horde? Yeah, it is. The Horde Beacon times one. Yes, it is. And you can see it's fairly expensive. I don't have most of those things. But, you know, maybe I can make a crate and start putting those things aside so that when my place is ready to defend against a horde, we're ready for it. We're up here. We're, we're barricaded. Maybe some auto turrets. Obviously me gunning people down. To dot, 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 dot. The barbed wire. The spikes. I don't know what else I can do. I know next episode we're going to do a what is called a safe zone radiator. I do remember that because that was one of the first things I always tried to craft. And we'll type safe. No. No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. I, I know I wanted to do this at the beginning of each level, but let's go ahead and do it now. Let me see. Healing, crafting, 20, 50, 80. All right. So now I unlocked all the blueprints. I still have 277 for next time, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. Once again, I'll probably knock down some trees between next episode and this one. Or sorry, this episode and next one. Uh, and then I'll start next episode with a full inventory of wood or something. Tell you guys what I'm crafting. Because we still need a lot, a lot of wood. So, uh, let's check it out. Really? It's not called safe anything? Uh, zone? Could it be zone? Oh, what, what was it called? Uh, what is it called, dude? Maybe it's not craftable. I thought there was a safe zone radiator. Maybe that's not a real thing. Maybe I'm, I'm lying to myself here. I don't know, but... With that said, man, this episode has probably gone on a lot longer than it should have, so we're going to go ahead and end it, man. Thank you to everyone who, once again, has watched the entirety of this episode. Hey, once again, comment hot dog. I didn't do this last episode, and I regret it. Comment hot dog if you've made it this far and if you've watched the whole thing. So I know who the true OG people out there are. True OG friends, viewers, everybody, family. I don't know who watches my videos. Let me know. This way I know who watches. Type hot dog so I know, man. I really do appreciate y'all, but with that said... Let's end the video, baby. Yes, sir. I want that bus next time.